Big girl. All right. So race fam, we are going racing and I know I start like every video this way, but I'm just going to tell you, I am so excited for this race. We are going to the uh, reforestation camp in Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's about a half hour north of my house. And this is a nighttime crit on snow. It's awesome. So uh, if you watched last year's video, you know that this was an insanely fun race to do. So uh, last year there was a big pack, like 15 of us all in a row, maybe even more. Uh, there was a big crash at the end. I avoided most of the crash and was able to finish pretty well, but uh, was definitely suffering toward the end of the race, getting a little crampy. That is not gonna happen tonight, my friends. I am super, super in shape. I'm just gonna say it. I'm ready to rip. My weight is in a great shape, probably the best place it's been in um, decades, potentially, maybe even. I'm definitely more fit than I was at any other time in my life, so there's that. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I hope that there's gonna be some separation in this race, because if it's the same as last year, that's just a crapshoot luck of the draw. And I needed that last year, but this year, I feel like I can bridge a gap or attack or do something to improve my own chances. Gosh, I'm excited for this race. This is gonna be so much fun. Let's go! You ready to rip? You ready to rip, little baby cakes? Yeah, you ready to rip. You ready to rip, Lola? We're ready. We're ready, let's go! laps are three miles or something like that and we're doing five laps what's your name dan 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 bryce first race for dan oh. way to go dan <laughs> before it got real dark now it's real dark but um, I think that snow is a little greasier than people are thinking out there it's gonna take somebody a lot of effort to get that clear uh, or a bobble from somebody in the front hey race fam we're going racing bikes all right race fam let's get cracking here on the race and I am going for the whole shot and you can too I'm gonna take off here on the beginning and lap, and uh, I'm feeling really good. Uh, like like I said in the intro, my weight and my diet and my fitness is pretty good. I'd say going into this race, my fatigue was a little bit high, but uh, overall the lack of, of extra fat has been helpful. So I'm down about five pounds since I started that thing, and it really helps with accelerations. It really helps just with confidence level of being able to maintain a pace without suffering. So you can see right here on the whole shot, I get a good little run and then um, Caden comes up and says, all right, let's do it. <laughs> so he starts ripping and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I mean, we don't have to go that fast. We, we, we can control things a little bit, a little bit. We can bring it down a level. But uh, yeah, so Caden definitely got my attention here real quick. And then uh, Scott's going to come up and bridge to us. So, I mean, this is pretty cool. There's three of us here, and we have a huge gap, but uh, we didn't. We did not keep the gas on for the uh, for the whole time. So I'm gonna jump around a lot, and this is a really cut up race. So just try to stay with me here. We're gonna accelerate. Eventually, the uh, the group's gonna come back in, and that was kind of funny. Everybody's like, "Jeez, what got into you? Where are you going? What's the rush?" <laughs> so, I guess my psychocross uh, uh, thought process came back into effect, and then uh, a little bit longer, not too much later, but I'm gonna. I'm feeling just, I'm feeling so good. I was probably overhyped is really what it was. And I was just like, let's go. So I went for another little move here and then uh, I'm going to carry it for a while. But after, after a bit, after these couple little roller hills, and this is the first third of the course, first lefter there. And uh, before we get into the kind of quote unquote single track, I guess I'll call it double track. This is like a four lane highway prior to that. Then we're going to get into some double track here shortly. Beautiful course. Uh, this is at the reforestation camp in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and it shares the land with a zoo and 
there's a, a zip line park and all kinds of really really cool outdoor adventure stuff in this area it's awesome and then all this is groomed for cross-country skiing and all the lights and everything uh, but once a year we get to rip on it with our fat bikes which is super super fun absolutely love this race and again the snow crown series is just such an amazing special thing to have right in our backyard i'm so excited for all the work they put into it i should say i'm, I'm excited to benefit from all the work they put into it so just want to continue to give shout outs to that crew because i know these things definitely do not come together easily and uh, i feel very fortunate to be in the area so here's caden just ripping turns here at the beginning of the race we're still in our first lap and uh, I'm struggling to keep up with them. Still feeling really good, but I'm still, I would say I did not quite recover completely from that uh, effort in the beginning that I laid down. And then this, uh, this hill got real, real slick throughout the race. So my tire pressures were like, uh, I think it was eight, uh, uh, nine in the front and eight in the back. Is that right? No, I'm sorry. Eight in the front, nine in the back. And I wish I would have taken it down just a hair more because this course definitely got a little greasier as the night went on so the temperatures were at like 34 or something like that all day and then you know the more from the other races that are on the course the more it gets beat up and, and moved around and then when we come through uh you know we're we're tearing it up pretty good so anyway it's okay it was what it was i just wish i would have dropped the uh, pressure a little bit because here at the end you can see, well, not even at the end. We're not at the end, sorry. Hang on, hang on with me. Uh, later, when we start cutting in those turns at high speed, I, I wish I just had a little more confidence in the turns. So we're coming under lap one here, and we're going to go back and have some more fun, do that all over again. A little fast forward here, and we're still just in a big group, kind of storming along. Um, we had a nice train going, so we're... I just want to point that out, like if you're watching the elite group go by and you're like, I could never go that fast, believe me, we couldn't either by ourselves, but we have a crew. Now this is great, Paul crashes here in this turn and takes out a bunch of people <laughs> he says, oh guys, I'm sorry, I hate myself, <laughs> I hate myself, it was just hilarious, man. it just cracked me up. So I had like five minutes of just laughing at that, and then uh, we're going to get back into racing here, here's uh, Cole is in front of me. And Cole's going to play a factor into this race. Caden here with the white sleeves is going to play a factor in this race. So all in all, had a uh, had a great group here, and and there was some moves in this race. It wasn't just one train the whole time. So we're coming under lap two down. Now we're starting lap three, and as you can tell, we're all still together here. No no big changes in the shakeup. Caden had that little move. I went with him. It all came back together. And then uh, Scott is just up here yanking, and that's going to cause a lot of pain later in the race, I think. It just kind of takes time for efforts like these to make an effect on the riders in the back, like myself, who are not as strong as Caden or Scott. But when they do that, it really, uh, it really, makes, <laughs> really makes me work. So it definitely takes some wind out of my sails. So when there is an attack, it's hard for me to respond to it. And uh, this move here is, I think it's Caden and Scott. Yep, and then I think in a second Cole is going to take the inside of a turn coming up, and then he's going to put in an attack. I think it's right here. He's going to come in the inside, if you can see on the left. Yep, that's Cole that runs up to the front, and then this is where that sort of double track, high speed turn stuff is, and Cole just rips these turns, and it really puts a lot of pressure on uh, Caden, Scott, myself, and everybody else behind us, because we are going full tilt with these turns and then whenever it does straighten out it's game on you can see my heart rate 160 there's uh i think that's paul's gonna take up the charge to close that gap down otherwise those three yeah that, that could have been the move if they would have stuck that and then i think what's going to happen here is they they got the gap but then they sort of stood up and looked at each other after the effort and uh, we were not mm, we were not quite destroyed enough to just let that go what am i at 164 and that is to be clear, that is insane for me to be at 164. That is a lot of heart rate for old BD. <laughs> so, uh, killing me. So here I'm dangling on this group, and um, ultimately we do come back together. That was Paul, Caden, Cole, and Scott. And then there's me, and you can see in the rear view we got, we got a nice gap here. I think somebody's going to come up and close that up. And anyway, eventually we're coming to finish a lap three, and we're all back together now. So now we're going to be coming under lap three and there's lap three all right now head on a swivel lap three if you're going to make a move and try to do something lap three is probably where that's going to have to happen and uh, we're going to get a 
couple of fireworks here, if I remember correctly, in lap three. It might have been lap four that we're going to see most of that stuff. So, uh, Oh, yeah. All right. So we're just finishing up lap three. Now we're going to start lap four, and there was really nothing to report from lap three. So this is like the straight before we get into the start finish again. And then here comes a little move. I just happened to time that right. I get right on Scott's wheel. We're going to close that up. And I uh, believe that's believe that's Dustin up front making the move. Uh, so much pressure when I use somebody's name when I'm not a thousand percent sure. Pretty sure it's Dustin. I'll have to check. But anyway, he got third place. He's on the podium. I know that much. I might be misremembering his name right now. If I am, I'm so sorry, but I only do one take because I'm lazy. All right. Uh, so now we're starting lap four. And we're pretty strung out because that's a good move. Now Jeff is in the background, and Jeff, my teammate, is causing a little bit of chaos in the back group. And then Caden's going to come around Jeff. Caden's going to close this up, and uh, then the rest of the group's going to come with him. So I applaud Jeff for thinking about that and trying to give us a, a chance of a gap. And we just didn't quite have enough horsepower to, to stretch that as thin as it needed to be, uh, which seems to be kind of a, a tail of the tape here for this race. Like I said in the intro, I don't know if I edited it out, but like you really, somebody's going to have to work really hard to get a separation on this group, and that happened. So this was like four attacks that were pretty meaningful, and then here Scott's just on the front, and he just sort of diesels off the front. Again, I'm in a good spot. I'm happy with that. Uh, and I, I talked to Scott later, and he said it was this. Um, there was a lapped rider hitting that turn, and he thought he might use that as a springboard. So if the lapped rider creates some havoc in that turn. He's going to be able to get a gap by hitting that be hitting that turn prior to the lapped rider. And again, I just happen to be in the right spot. So I'm cruising with Scott, and then I'm just giving up the ghost on that hill. These hills are not much, but they're just enough to put me under pressure. And uh, I have to let those two go because I just can't hold that pace anymore. And then somebody... Oh, that's Caden's going to come behind me here. Yep, pretty sure that's Caden. Yep, that's Caden. And Caden's going to close this down. Caden, 16 years old, by the way, just phenomenal talent nice young man and uh, his dad Mike is racing with us here too and Mike is going to play an important role in the outcome for me uh, by the time it's all said done so here you can see like this was the move but I just couldn't close it I couldn't grab Caden's wheel well enough to get any sort of rest and then I think what's gonna happen here is they're ultimately gonna start leaving me uh, yep probably has something to do with that hill Mm, shocker got that right all right so that was I mean look behind us we have a huge gap and I just can't pull that group in and oh, that's right ultimately it was those three that go to the finish and there was a, a sprint uh, I think Caden got crashed out unfortunately so he was not able to contend the, the last or didn't get third even though he definitely deserved it or second or first but the, the uh, sprint at the end crashed him out and then um, Cole got second and Scott Van Thiel got first. So that's your podium. And now we're coming around to the last lap. Uh, left rider here. And I'm in no man's land for a good portion. Uh, I can't catch Caden anymore. They're gone. And can I hold this for three more miles till this final lap is completed? At the time, I mean, I'm looking around like, I think I can do it, maybe. And so I try for a while, and that's yeah, just not going to work. I see the train in the background forming. I'm like, all right. And there's no way I can hold them off for the rest of this lap. I'm just going to duck in behind the train, try to recover, and see what I can pull out of here in the sprint at the end. And, uh, and ultimately, that's what I do. Mike Bud is on the front of our train, and he's going to pull a lot of this. Uh, I think Dustin from previously is going to be up here too. And I don't know if I caught it right, but Dustin put in a great move going into the finish. And he just he's on the front, timed it right, got a move, and, uh, and was able to stick that for for third place on the podium because again Caden got crashed out otherwise he would have gotten third but uh, our group ended up taking the, the so we're battling for what well, we, we think we're battling for fourth at this point because uh, we're well aware that there's three riders up the front ultimately Caden uh, crashes out here in the finish sprint so we are battling for third but we don't know that and uh, I kind of mess up that turn and now we're sprinting and I know like I when I pre-rode I know there's a little bit of downhill and I was like okay that's where I want to start sprinting so I could take advantage of my slightly heavier frame than most other people out here on the race course if I can click down and get big gears when we're going down this little embankment I can carry that to the finish 
and I tried to do that. I just don't think I, I don't think I executed that very well. I didn't stand up early enough. I didn't start sprinting because I could not catch a line to prevent Christian and, and uh, I just couldn't prevent Christian from coming over. He didn't do anything wrong, but if I would have gotten up further to his handlebars, I could have prevented that, but I did not. Oh, well. I touched greatness. Good for you. And then I let it go. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. He's like talking to himself. He's all like, I'm a good, I'm a good teammate. I'm a good I'm teammate. A good teammate. <laughs> I'm a good friend. <laughs> I'm a good friend. I'm the best friend. I'm the best friend. Thanks, <laughs> fam. We were very close to greatness tonight. I feel like I'm within not too far away from being able to get to that, get to that group. Gah. This is a great race. I'm very happy with it, but I'm going to be thinking about that one tonight. <laughs> race family, we got fifth. I just ran out of gears in that sprint. I had so much more power, and I'm sure they did too, but just couldn't get it to the wheel. Oh.